Hi, today we're going to talk about the perspective of anger. And Lance has some of his observations that he'd like to share. Well, I used to work for the government, so getting angry was kind of a daily thing. But uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, people would perceive you as angry, even if it was just irritation or, you know, you're annoyed because they were asking, you know, basically really dumb questions. <laughs> uh, so um, is there, um, you know, different levels of anger and uh, how would that work? Yes, there are different, there are different levels of uh, anger and many times anger comes out and there's really something deeper underneath like fear or embarrassment or feeling betrayed, these kinds of things. If you have a problem with anger, and even if it, it's irritation, uh, it might be useful to really ask yourself, what is it that's underneath this anger? And it gives you a perspective of what's really going on and might help you help you to figure out what to do next. Hmm. So, um, basically, I should step back just a little bit in my brain and say, uh, uh, like Bruce Banner and the Hulk, <laughs> you don't want to see me angry. <laughs> well, that might be a response when they call, call you angry. <laughs> I hear you. Uh, well, it's a good topic, and certainly email us or uh, message us and uh, uh, tell us about your your experience with anger. This, I'm Coralie Coleman, a Come Alive coach, and you can reach me and more uh, information at my website, www.coraliecoleman.com.